try this filter, cut that valve off where it's welded there. That's a three inch port. Weld a three inch to two inch stainless steel cone reducer back onto there with a female RJT fitting on the end of it which will screw onto that male thread so this filter body will lay along here I'll have to mount some brackets here to support it so the first thing I'm going to do is take some measurements and um, see how much room is needed for the cone reducer fitting. That'll determine how far the filter sticks out from the body there. I've got to modify two of these, two filters and two pumps. Back in the workshop. I'm going to start working on these filters. These are the valves that have got to be cut off. They'll be cut off where that weld is there. And the other end, this is a two and a half inch female fitting and it needs an inch and a half male fitting so it needs a cone reducer from two and a half down to one and a half same on this one got the valves cut off cut them off by hand so they're not true at the moment. So I've got the body of the filter clamped down and I've got it mounted on a surface table which is level and flat and I've centralized the this opening 39 millimeters from each side so that is at the top and now I've got to grind that until it's level in in both directions got that ground flat and level Yeah, that's square. Got all these ports squared off. Now I'm ready to weld the cone reducers on. There'll be a three inch to two inch cone reducer on these ports. And a two and a half inch to one and a half inch on the end ports. There'll be threaded fittings on the ends of the cones. I'll put the threaded fittings on the cones first. It's easier to do it that way. And then put the cones on afterwards. All the welds will have to be purged internally with argon. This is the threaded fitting that goes on to the two and a half to one and a half inch cone. That's got to be welded on there. I've got a little turntable here I've made for welding fittings on. 
So, um, and I'll rotate that as I'm welding it. Argon gas is purged up through the middle. Then I'll do the same with the with the other cones. These are the fittings that go on to the other cones. The nuts will go on first. Got the end cones on. To purge those I had a blank inside across here so I didn't have to fill the whole cylinder with argon. Now I'm starting to weld the this cone on. I'm just purging this one so as I don't have to fill the whole cylinder up. I bent a piece of metal on the inside and sealed it with masking tape. So I'm just filling this cone with argon. Cut those on. You can see the world on the inside there. That's been purged well. Got those welds cleaned up. Just start and work on the brackets to support the filters. I've rolled two rings. They'll clamp around the filter body about here. Um, I've made a full scale drawing. This circle here shows the end view of the filter body with the um, with the ring around it. This outline here shows the supporting bracket. That'll be made out of a plate six millimeter thick. That'll be cut to shape. I've had to weld a little piece on there, it wasn't quite deep enough. There'll be a vertical peg welded to the plate. And there'll be a lug there welded to the um, to the ring. This peg will pass through that lug so that will locate the filter. I've got most of the welding done on the brackets. This 
this plate gets welded onto the frame on site. It's about that high off the floor. This will be bolted to it. And then one of these will be welded onto that. That'll get welded on site. That'll be that'll have to be positioned as there's room to maneuver that a bit. And then um, that locates into that lug. So the filter sits on that part there. And it's located by the lug. And also fixed on with the two inch nut. Got all the welds cleaned. That's where they go. So these brackets are ready to be taken to site and fitted. Something else they're going to need. Because it's a struggle to dismantle and reassemble these filters, I've suggested they have some sort of stand to hold them in an upright position to make it easier and to prevent any further damage to them. That's what's caused all these small dents and scratches. You can see there's a small dent there. There's another one there. It's scratched all over. And it's been knocked all around these edges. This is a drawing of the stand I'm going to make. It'll be on three legs. There will be a couple of rings that the filter body drops through. Uh, there will be a, a ring here which will support the filter under that shoulder. And um, a ring here which will fit round the body there. Got the top part of the frame welded together. Just working on the three legs. Three feet for the bottom. Got the legs welded on. Just need to polish the welds up. Got the welds polished up. Filter just drops into it. And that leaves them with two hands free to dismantle it. side again. It's starting to fit the brackets on the pump frames. Just welding this plate onto the frame. Got this all molded on. I'm just letting that cool down before I go any further. And then the other plate gets welded onto here. 
we've got the filter brackets mounted on the pump frames. So the filter just hooks over that peg and sits on that bracket there. That's the other one. That's the filter in place. 